Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a Jenga block cat. We're gonna use 202 Jenga blocks. We are gonna use, uh, I call them Jenga blocks, Tumbling Tower from Dollar Tree. You can find them in the kids section. They come also in a brown pack like this as well. We are gonna use Wellbond. I prefer using this. You can find them at most hardware stores. You can find them at uh, American Crafter. She has told me that you can buy it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I buy it at Rona slash Lowe's. You can buy it on a bunch of different places. I just do not suggest using hot glue at all unless you're gluing on a piece or two. You want to make sure it holds with um, hot glue. They don't, the blocks don't seal properly and they're already as you know, if you've worked with the blocks before, they're not very perfect. Some are a little bit bigger, some are a little bit not rounded. So you just wanna make sure that you use proper glue. I know there are some crafters that use some DT, either wood glue, but I've never seen it in my local store here. All right, we're gonna start with the head. And we're always, if you're working with Jenga blocks, I always find that buying a ruler like this, you can buy it at Dollar Tree. It's the Carpenter Ruler, L-shaped ruler, uh, just to make sure that you keep the blocks straight when you're gluing them. Now, <clears throat> when I say left to right, is I meaning sometimes I go a little fast and you always can ask me a question here or you always can come to my personal Facebook page, uh, The Crafty Shopper, and ask me as well. Is left to right meaning uh, horizontal as opposed to uh, vertical up and down when you are gluing them so this part portion will be left to right and you'll just be gluing them flat like this like that now I always find that this side will always be straighter and as you can see on the camera that there are shorter ones. So when you turn them up, like I have them this way, always try to do, it's hard to remember if you're gonna move them, but when you're gluing them, try to keep it that way because then they're more level than if you did it that this way. You'll know more of the indents in the blocks than if you turned it the right way that it's all straight and even here. So we're gonna start, as I just showed you, gluing them flat like that is four, five, and we're just gonna center them over each other. Another five, six, seven, another seven, six, six, five, and four. And you just wanna make sure they're even with each other. Pyramid going this way and then going down. We're gonna glue that. We'll glue them all together at once, but let's, that's the head. Now, for the body, we're gonna change the blocks. We're gonna change them to upright, gluing like this. So when you are gluing them, for example, you're gonna glue them. I always like, I call it stacked. Just like basically one on top of each other when you look at it this way. And you're gonna do the exact same method but you're gonna keep them, glue them like this and the same thing. Try to use the top part because it will be more even. So we're gonna start off with six. I'm just gonna build it right on top of here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 14, and 13. Now I just wanted to show you something here before we glue all these together. Right up to here, I opened a new box of Jenga and it was exactly the same blue pack not the brown pack because I think there was a lot of people saying that the blue pack and the brown pack was cut differently in size which is not true um the blue one for whatever or 
from here down. And if, if you can see what I'm saying, it is more, all the blocks are more square as opposed to these ones are more rounded. And you can see the color is a little bit different too than this section down. And it's more flat than these ones are. I don't get it. I don't know, maybe somebody else is working that shift. All right, so next thing we're gonna do guys is just glue this all together. All right, now that we have it all glued together, there's a couple different ways we can do it. I don't know what happened on the side here when I was gluing it together and right here, it almost looks like something touched it and turned the color, but that's okay. We can, we're going to paint it. So I know Christy on my Crafty Shopper page on Facebook, she likes more the blocky look. So Christy, you can do as is and keep it more of the block look that you like. That's not a problem, guys. You can do that. There's another thing. I know a couple of the videos I did I did with the paper towel mache, but there's another option you could do with this. I would round out, you don't have to round the corner, sorry. If you wanna just do it black, you can actually just round the corners off a bit using a DT nail file. If you don't have a Dremel drill, hand drill like I have, you can just file the corners and just take a little bit of the edge off that it's not so pointy. You can do that and paint it as is. You could also do this one, you could do paper towel mache. And I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna do because I'm gonna use some fun fur on it. But with the paper towel mache, I would just get a sheet of paper, measure the block's width, and just cut it straight down, use a ruler. And this is another option if you want to do the paper mache. But the paper mache would only be on the sides to even it out. Now, the thing is when you do that, and I'm just going to show you, is you're going to glue it. So the paper mat, and you would use it with Mod Podge. Where you see those you just try to fill as much hot glue in the corners. If you watch my past videos, you know what I'm talking about. And as you go, you see in the corners there, so it makes a more rounded edge. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna show you in the corner here, you would take your hot glue. Sorry guys, if I'm trying to, so I can see. I just bought this new glue gun from Michael's so it's brand spanking new and I just put a new glue stick in so it went right down now I would build up the layers so you have to wait for that to dry why is this not I don't know why this is not going down, guys. I'm going to show you here. Let me let this dry and then I'm going to show you. All right, now that I did the hot glue, now you're only going to do the paper paper mache if you want if you're not going to put fur on it like I am you can leave it blocky I would not suggest doing the hot or the hot glue and then just painting it black because you'll see all the bumps in the hot glue but I was just trying to show you the different option that you could be so you can see where you're going to build up but even if you put that on there it's still going to make a smoother look if that's what you want you just got to paint this with Mod Podge put it on and then do another coat and let it dry. You'll probably have to let it dry for an hour or so, and then it will smooth out the edges. Now, the reason I do the hot glue on the side is just to do a little bit of a buildup. So then when you're, what I'm gonna do when I'm wrapping it, it's not gonna be so blocky looking. So, and I know um, there was a question that I get asked all the time, how come I make my 
my builds so big and it's not that I make them big it's just working with the blocks to get definition and shape it's how many blocks I don't say I'm going to use 200 blocks and then that's what it it turns out to be it's just to make uh, a definition of the shape and size just because you are working with rectangular blocks I am going to paint it the DT black so I'm going to do the front and the sides and the back all right now that I painted it um I'm going to use some fun fur, some just some black fur. This is from Dollarama. Um, I also have the white. And so you can do it all black, but if you're going to want to do a color on it, I'm going to just paint over. Now, I just did kind of an outline where I want to put the white fur just so I know that I stay in a design as I'm gluing it on with hot glue. I am going to paint it white, and then I'm going to just hot glue some white fur in this section to give it a patch. So I did the coat of paint. I just wanted to show you before I hot glued this on, just how the design is. So even if you decide to just paint it black and keep it the blocky look to it, you can, this is a design that you can do. You can also change it to different colors. Maybe you wanna make an orange cat, a gray cat, white cat. I just wanted to show you, I gave the outline and the outline is just for me to where I can put the white so I can stay in the design of the pattern. Also too, the reason why I paint them is even though I'm gonna put the black and then the white around it, it only so, you, just sometimes you when the material moves, you don't wanna see the blocks in the back and sometimes the background will peek through. So that's why I just wanted to do the coats on there. Now that I added the white, I just think it looks so far it's looking pretty good now when you're putting it on i just went all the way around till i had no more room and then i end up going into here and gluing in there so now i'm going to take the black part the fun fur yarn and i'm going to start at the top and you're just going to want to move it down a little bit as you glue you might want to use just a ruler as you go just because it is quite furry. And then you're just gonna wanna go all the way around the exact same thing with hot glue. I'm just gonna show you here. The front's just a little bit harder only because you have to go around the design. So if you don't wanna do the design and then the sides, you can just go straight up and down with the yarn. I just wanna show you here. like that and then I'd probably have to cut the piece actually I would just glue it back this way and go all the way around till the head's done the sides look okay here and then you're just gonna have to go all the way around until you go you might have to cut a few pieces off just to fill in once you get to the sides is easy enough to do which is just couple dabs of hot glue as you go along and just press it down in strips like this and just keep going and the back will just be easy to zigzag back and forth across all right so he's looking like a little bit of fluff ball right now and it's looking super cute so we're going to work um with the hair rollers now if you watch my jingle block slash tumbling tower uh elf and i believe the elf and the grinch i did use the hair rollers now i believe i use i use this size uh i am going to use the bigger rollers from dt they are just the hair rolls that, hair rollers they come in the six pack now i want something a little bit bigger so i was going to use this one but i still want his tail to be bigger since he's nice and fuzzy now so i took one hair roller i took the little plastic which stops it from going up. I did cut one and I did fold it down with pliers. And then you still have the little hook and you can hook them together like that. I just wanted a little bit longer. I just found it was a little bit too short. And then we're just gonna kinda, go, I'll show you what I'm. I'm just gonna tape this here too. And we're just going to put it on the side like that, but we're going to play around with the shape. I'm just 
there we go something like that then you will cut the hair if you are if you're not using the fun fur this would be an acceptable size just because it's bigger obviously with the fur so the smaller rollers which you probably have from if you did my other um other characters then that would be a good size but just because he's a lot big furrier i want a bigger one kind of like this but i am going to tape this with some duct tape i am going to you can use this one too sorry if you're not using the fun fur you can use the um, uh, pipe cleaners the um, chanel pipe cleaners that you don't have to um, use the fun fur and it would just be great even with the pipe cleaners without the fun fur and you just wrap them around so this one I'm going to cut the fur down and then I'm going to just place it on the side like that as this tail is sticking out. When I do tape it, I am going to give it a coat of black and I am going to just, like I said before, I don't want to be seeing through. Sometimes if you move this, if I didn't paint the Jenga, you would see the, the non-painted surface. So I am going to tape it and paint it black. It's not going to look pretty with the tape and that. But once you wrap it with the fun fur, and I am just going to use a little bit of fun fur, um, the black, but I might just put a little tip of white just to make the color pop out on his tail. All right, so now that I have the tail glued on, it moves a little bit, but that's just because of the wire inside. We're going to do the ears. We're just going to grab, and I'm just going to zoom in a bit. We're going to grab some foam board. I just have some foam board that... I cut out from I didn't measure them but if you want to know the length from the top to bottom and it also depends it's about 1.75 inches I just cut them out cut two out the same I'm gonna use some fun fur and I'm just gonna grab some over here I thought I had some already behind beside me and you're just gonna hot glue on the front part of the ears, oh yeah, that's too much hot glue. It's gonna do one side. Oh, what a mess. Gonna go down the other side. Now it really depends on the material that you're gonna use. Now, like I said, this is from DT, or sorry, not DT, Dollarama. And I'm gonna keep this part with no, uh, with no fur on it. And then you're just gonna glue it back, zigzag all the way up or all the way in like that and then once we have that glued I just want to take this off because this is gonna these mats I get from uh, from uh, Ikea and I love them because they're easy to clean this one's a little bit dirty now and glue just comes right off as you can see so once we have that once you get the corners on, I just took the scissors because it was just too fluffy. So just along the sides and we're going to place it. I, just, I forgot my camera is right up there. We're going to place it right on the side like that. We're going to have two of them. Now, where you place it here, when you decide, I'm going to just do it in the middle. You're just going to want to shave down if you're using the fun fur. You're just going to cut down a little bit of the fun fur so you get a good hold for to place both ears all right now that i have the ears glued on we're going to move on to the face um but i wanted to do a collar and you can use um maybe you want to make your own collar i just grabbed one of those cat collars from dt i just grabbed a red one i thought the color would pop nicely and the good thing about it, it is adjustable. So I was able to adjust it that it fits perfect around the neck. I'm just gonna pop it on here. That was able to go right on there. And I'll put the little bell centered. 
So I think it just is super cute. Um, just gonna go with the old googly eyes and I got just the big ones. I'm gonna do it right there. I just took a piece of foam paper, cut out more of a rectangular nose, just like that. I'm gonna cut down the fur a little bit so I can glue it on better. Then I'm just gonna take some pom-poms and stick it just like that. And that side's a little bit more flat and put two right there. I'm not gonna add anything else to it except some whiskers. Now, it's probably not centered, guys. I just don't wanna stick my head under the camera. I just had one of these brooms that I haven't used from DT and I just cut right down to the bottom. And the best thing about putting them in is they just go right nicely into the little pom-poms and you can just do as much as you want. I'm gonna glue those together and put Lucky upright and show you what he looks like sitting up. All right guys, so here's Lucky. I think he looks pretty cute. His little bell in the background. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting and see you soon. Bye.